Hello there guys and welcome back to another Forza Horizon 4 video on my channel. Firstly I'd like to apologise for being a bit late recording and uploading this video. Uh, it'll probably be uploaded about an hour later than it normally is. That's just because I was busy with something and I had to uh, finish that before I could come on. Uh, but luckily I've already prepared last night when I did the Forza video, I prepared for the season. So I'm ready to record and raring to go. Uh, packed with information this video will be being the first video of the series so firstly uh, well secondly because I've already done the firstly uh, the Forza Thon challenge if you want to know how to do the antiquated or antiquated roadshow falls Thon I uploaded a video on that last night so you can check that out on my channel or I might have a play around with the pop-up banner things and try and put a link to it near the end of the video so look out for that um, Otherwise, you can just find it on my channel in the seasonal Forzathons. Or oh, it's actually the most recent uh, uploaded video. Um, so, for the photo challenge, you need to take a photo of any Lamborghini with the lighthouse north of Bambury. So, that speaks for itself, really. But the lighthouse is here, where it says lighthouse. So, go anywhere. Now, you can see it from quite far away. So get in your Lamborghini, so an Aventador, Huracan, Huracan Perfumante, Eurus, Diablo, whatever you've got. Get in your Lamborghini uh, and go somewhere where you can see the lighthouse. It's not like where you can see the beach and where you can see the thing that sticks up in the air. If you don't know what I'm on about, look it up on Google. Um, if you don't know what Google is, then... Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Um, so basically just go somewhere near there. Uh, and then take a photo. Make sure your car and the the thingies in the the, the lighthouse. Then you'll get um three percent and a super wheel spin. Um, so for fifty percent of the whole series, you get to sell another backstage pass. Um, so if you haven't spent any yet, you will have quite a few now. Uh, I spent a couple on the cars that I didn't have last week. Uh, so I've, I've still got a couple left though because I've got most of the cars. Um, but during the series. You get the usual one for 50% of the whole series. Then, again, it's like last series, we've got one at 50% of autumn and of w not of winter. I thought we did. Oh, it's spring instead. So winter instead of the backstage pass. The backstage pass is in spring. Um, and in winter, we've got the Razor Tachyon Speed from 2019. I know quite a lot of people will be looking forward to that. Uh, and then this week via the seasonal championship forest monsters you get the brand new Peugeot 2007 Super 2000 from uh, I think it's like 2007 or something something like that you also get the Corning Zebra Guerra is in the auto show a couple of million uh, the 400 Drift 599 uh, people really rate that car I've never driven it myself really but uh, I know people rate it in the monthly rivals you're driving the brand new Razor Tachyon, you just need to post a clean lap, so no rewinding, no missing checkpoints and no hitting things hard. You don't have to beat your rival and you also don't have to post a fast lap, you just have to make sure it's clean. Um, and then the online adventure, um, basically to qualify for ranked adventure you have to reach tier 3 in any of the categories, so racing... Um, games or free for all racing and then once you've done that you just do one per month and then it marks the gold you can do it any for any of the four seasons same with the rivals and they both count for all seasons so even if you do it in spring like i didn't do last uh see last series online adventure until spring it adds the percentage on so if you didn't quite get 80 percent in one of the seasons if you do that then you might be able to get it if you've got enough percentage uh, then for 80% you get the Alpine A110, quite a rare car, uh, there's not many in the auction house, they don't go for much but they are very rare and surprisingly it is also in this week's Forzathon shop with the Chevy Camaro. Um, so the Chevy Camaro is quite a nice car, the Alpine is also quite a nice car, I remember when I first got it I sold it for about 12 million and then I got another one and never driven it. Then you've got a pointless hat and a horn uh, as well as your super wheel spins and wheel spins so for 50 percent of this season you get the mazda rx7 from 1985 um people make it into drift cars i've never really driven it myself uh, and 80 percent you get the mclaren 720s spider never really driven it myself but uh, it's a mclaren so probably quite good 
Um, right, so let's get on to the stunts now. So for the three seasonal stunts, you get six or seven percent, and use your super wheel spin. So I've again varied the cars for this week. So for the speed zone, it's at the water, which is here, and you need 96 miles an hour. So that is one mile an hour more than the three stars. So not much. As you can see, my personal best is 122 mile an hour, which I did in the Unigonize 200. Um, it's not really that hard if you just take the correct lines. You can actually cut both of these corners quite a lot, actually, compared to what you usually can. So, let's have a look. So I'm going to be using the 2015 BMW X6M. I apologise that I have V12 swapped it. That is just for purely for the speed. Um, so the tune, the code will be in the description. And so I won't show that now, but the tune is called Off-Road Power and you can search my gamertag if you want. So it's basically maxed out. So I tested these last night. Um, I tested these last night. Uh, I didn't know exactly what the objectives were, but I tested all three stunts and I got the cars that I was going to use ready. Uh, and for the speed zone, you can literally go either way. I got a better score going from where I am now over to here, but both ways per work perfectly fine. Uh, I got a hundred going from this side to this side where I am now, and going the other way, I got about a hundred and four. So it doesn't actually matter, but uh, you can use the Hoonigan RS two hundred like this dude here. Uh, you can use the Hoonigan Group A if you want. You can you literally use any car. Well, not any, but any car that's okay on off-road and that's probably above A class will be able to do it. Um, so obviously mine's S2, but that's not necessary. Oh, I forgot I've got clutch on. <laughs> I was uh, practicing with clutch. I normally just drive manual. Um, so you can actually, if you tap the handbrake, you can literally brake and cut that corner quite a lot because I have the clutch on it doesn't rev properly so I didn't do that very well um, but I'll, I'll still do it so 98 mile an hour that way I did better last night when I was in normal manual now if we wait for the stuff to go away we can do it the other way as well oh I forgot you have to put the clutch in to rev when you're on manual clutch can you go away please the stuff at the bottom oh I'm gonna say right there we go so we're gonna you can cut this corner quite a bit i don't know quite how much and you can also cut this corner a lot as well so we should get about 100 should we and yes 100 so oh my god the rain's heavy we've all of a sudden got a torrential rainstorm in britain typical weather typical weather only only used to it Right, so that's that stunt done. Like I said, you can use the Unigan Iris 200 to make it easy, but this car just does, does it anyway. Now, for the Bambara Castle Danger Sign, it's actually quite an easy one, but people struggle with the run-up. Uh, and it's 215 metres required, which is 1.6 metres more than three stars. So I'm going to go to where this dude is here. I'll just fast travel to him. I apologise if you can hear the rain battering on the window. <coughs> It is very loud. Uh, it's all gone silent. <laughs> right, so you can go back down here. So what you want to do first, right, uh, is not smash into here like I've just done. It is to clear all of this stuff here, right? So you, you can see the fences, the poles, the bins clear everything on this side right once you've done that only the poles tend to respawn for whatever reason but once you've done that that'll help you with you run up you clear a bit more on the way back and that'll just help you perfect your line without being slowed down so if you go back down here you can reverse all the way up to the wall right i'll just put the clutch into rev um so then you just go through here try and keep it as straight as possible Right, and get as close to that wall as possible. 130 mile an hour ish is what you need to hit. Uh, so I got a 210 there. I got a 219 when I did it last night, I think, and that was first try. So let me just do it again. I think I've kind of messed it up here. So as you can see, the lampposts tend to like to respawn, but nothing else does. They won't do too much damage. 
So uh, I think it's this clutch. I'm worried about the clutch. I hate clutches. All right, that should that should do it. That seems there. Oh, two away. Right, you can just trust my word that this car does it because I did it first try last night. It's probably just because I've got the clutch and it's taking forever to to shift. But um, you can use like the Hoonigan RS200, the Mosler. The Mosler is easily the best bet for this. Um, but I just want to vary it up a bit. You can use the Ferrari Evo. You can use anything really. Um, this car does do it, like I say, but um, for some reason it's not playing right on the video. Right now, for the last stunt before we move on to the other stuff, Muirhead Wind Farm Speed Trap, 244 miles an hour, which is four mile an hour more than the three star, which isn't really much. So go back to you can go around this corner if you're struggling, but just go back to this corner. I'm not going to do it in the BMW. It does have a higher top speed than what we need, but um, it doesn't get there very quick. I got like a 220 when I did it with this car. Oh, come on, fast travel. Okay, so the car I've selected for this is a car we used for the Summer Forthathon of last series, so uh, exactly a month ago. And it is the Ferrari F12 TDF in X class, which does about 270 miles an hour while sticking to the road incredibly well. So, and it's got my lovely yellow paint on it. So you don't need a big run up, but it might just help you if you if the AI traffic are getting in the way as they always do. And guarantee they will on the video. So, oh god, I forgot the clutch again. I don't know whether the car's electric or whether my t telly volume's not turned up much. Uh, oops, there. Uh, I don't know what happened there. Right, I'll just put it in sixth. So, oh, oh, what the heck is going on here? My car's swerving around like donkeys. <laughs> Oh, there we go, the sound's come on now. It was electric for some reason. That's just Forza, don't worry about it. So there you go, 250 right, mile an hour. Just... And I started, if you didn't see um, uh, uh, before, I started just up here. So you can go around the corner, like I said, if you're struggling, but you won't really need it. So that is that done. Now, before we move on, you've seen the Forzathon shot, but we'll have a look at the backstage vote on the Super 7. So last week, if I remember right, was the Subaru WRX from 2004. And I, I did actually go and get it because I like the car and I like Subarus. And, and this week, we have the Mercedes AMG Hammer Coupe. Hmm, that's interesting. By the way, I do not actually know what the votes are and the stuff for this series. Uh, yeah. Oh, I've been disconnected, have I now? That's interesting. Um, so, the Mercedes AMG Hammer Coupe I made into a bit of a drift car. I think that's probably my Wi Fi. Is it? Is it? Uh, I'm not really sure. But um, it is a pretty good car and it's also a pretty rare car. We've only seen it when it was first released, so I would suggest getting that if you don't have it. Uh, even if it's just for the collection. So all you need to do is complete seven challenges. You can burn any that you don't like or you don't want to do. And then you just complete the seven. You can only get the car once after that. It just turns the wheel spins or credits. Um, but then you'll have a car and it'll get in your garage. Uh, and then finally, the backstage vote. So last week, unfortunately, the Hoonigan RS200 was beaten by the KTM X-Bow or Crossbow. Um, for whatever reason, people just don't listen. Um, so that's twice the Hoonigan RS200 has been beaten. I don't know why people are voting for the other cars. But anyway, the Mosler also got voted against. This week is between the Apollo and the Rimac. Or the Rimac. So the Rimac is good for drag. It's electric. It has tons of horsepower. While the Apollo has an annoying engine. I think it's actually similar noise to the Ferrari that I'm in now. Yeah, but it is quite a decent car. I have two or three of both, but because the CCGT is better, I'm going for the Remac. Um, but for some reason, people are voting for the Apollo. But I'm not really bothered this week because both are 
not really rare anyway so right uh, I'm just gonna get rid of that I'm just gonna go in solo when it would like to load so we don't have any of that nonsense right so now on to the championships now again same as last week all of the cars mentioned the share codes for the tunes uh, are in the description or they will be so for the first championship I forgot to look on the map uh, so the first championship here Asmu Heritage Circuit is the first race it is road racing it's called Old Habits Die Hard this is the one where we get the can't remember and you need a B-class vintage racer so vintage racers is what we need for the Forzathon if you didn't already know or you can remember so B class so um, I think this one is a barn find this one is when you get the Edinburgh Castle uh, a, a couple of them are auto show uh, this is the cheapest but it isn't actually in the auto show um, let me just filter it did I filter it to B class no I didn't um, so never driven that one this one I couldn't make it all wheel drive without going into A class so that's rear wheel drive but it's very fast this one was for the playground games a couple of weeks ago it might have been in autumn or something uh, when we were at the rail yard so that's got the V12 in it so it doesn't turn but if you want to have a bit of a challenge then feel free this one's really slow but it handles like a god uh, this one is the one I'm using for the Forzathon and this one even though it says speed 4.7 when I all wheel drive swapped it I've tuned it so it goes 180 miles an hour um, that's also a good car so I'd suggest the Napier the Bugatti or the Auto Union uh, and then the Bentley if you really want but I believe that I've put all of the share codes in the description for that one so next city outskirts cross country is the first race it is cross country series it's forest monsters this is the one where you win the brand new peugeot and you need an s1 rally monster so that kind of suggests to me that the peugeot will be an s1 rally monster uh, if you get what i mean so there are a lot of cars some of them are not bad some of them are brilliant some of them are terrible um, so this one I haven't tuned this one uh, I have an S1 tuned for it has a shocking top speed but on cross country it's really good uh, the RS200 mines in S2 um, but you can easily tune that to S1 and it's really a really good car this one never really driven it this one same this one the Hoonigan RS200 in S1 if you do have it despite it being defeated in the backstage this is a tune by Waz News. Uh, Robert from my channel suggested him. Uh, I did have another dude's tune on it, but I thought that Waz's would be better. Um, I, 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 I could make my own, but I just, if I'm honest with you, couldn't really be bothered. I didn't really have time last night. There was that much to do. Um, but that, that I can guarantee that would be a really good tune. So that's in the description. I think I put the share code in as well that one's just really slow don't waste time if you have car pass the hoonigan uh, escort colsworth thing group here um is a really good car that is my tune um yeah that one's quite slow um i have two tunes for that one of them's really slow but really grippy and and the one i've got on it now is a bit faster and a bit more um powerful so i'd suggest this tune if i was totally honest uh, the Opal Manta, really fast. Um, that one, yeah. um, that's rear wheel drive. Uh, th th as you can see, that's in A class at the moment, but I do have an S1 tune for that. It's only got A class on because the last time I used it was A class. So that is a really good car as well. And then these, yeah, never driven them really. So, whichever you fancy for that one. Um, just make sure by the way on all championships if you are new there might be some new steam players um, here if you are from steam and you're new to the game you can feel free to subscribe to the channel because I'll take you through every single season that there is um, except when I can't but um, yeah do subscribe um, and I'll help you in any way that you need in the comments section and stuff and you do need highly skilled driver tires for all of the solo championships games you don't have to win so do not quit do not quit and um the trial is against unbeatable so you don't need to um and it's on a team 
it don't ram your teammates for goodness blooming sake so for the trial it's road racing the first race is doing reservoir swint sprint apologies for that malfunction it's called team lotus you win the lotus 11 which is an auto show car for some reason this series there aren't really great prizes to be honest with you and you need an a class lotus so lotus there are many of them but which ones are good uh, I can't find it, there it is. Um, so, the Exiges is a good car. The Esprit V8 is also a very good car. The This one's really slow top speed and it doesn't pick up very well by the handling. You can literally send it around every corner. That one's in B class uh, and that is the car you win. So if you do already have it, which you probably do, that is a straight line power build, not much handling. But So the Lotus 11, if you have it, the th Esprit V8 and the Exiges are a safe bet and then for handling, the Lotus 340R, whichever you prefer they're all really good to be honest with you now the other championship is street scene the first race is Mortimer's Pass it is Redline Rockets this is the one where you win the Koenigsegg Ruggiera or Ruggiera and you need an S1 uh, Italian modern supercar so if we filter it to Italy we're actually already on Italy and then if we filter it to S1 and then we go back to Italy <laughs> so you have the Alfa Romeo um, Stradale thing that is not my tune, that is Velocitune and unfortunately uh, it isn't shared anymore I think that's because maybe he got banned and his, his things got timed out his tunes got timed out but if you did already have that tune on it that is a very good car the Huracan Performante always a good bet the Diablo S SV that is a good car um, da, 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 da. the Ferrari F50 very fast not that grippy but very good um, the Ferrari 509 GTO that is a really good car the F12 Berlinetta very fast on straights this if you have car pass more of a straight line speed build um, the 48 GTB is very grippy um, and the Huracan um, which is a safe bet as well not much aero but really good so whichever you fancy for that one uh, and then finally the games which is at the rail yard again uh, remember you don't have to win so do not quit just play fair and you need an A-class GT car, yay! We've had a lot of GT car action lately, you may remember. There, so it's not super GT, GT cars. So the Alpha 8C Competitor Zone, very good car. The Bentleys are a bit sluggish, but very good. The uh, um, M6, that's a very good car. The XKRS, very good. Uh, the Maserati very good whichever you really fancy really because games you don't really need a very good car as long as you're not rear wheel drive and you're spinning out the whole time but I'd probably say the Maserati, the Jag, the Beamer, the Bentley or the Alpha because they're the ones I've got tuned haha <laughs> that was funny wasn't it <laughs> so yeah right well that seems to be it guys thank you so much for watching today's video i hope you enjoyed and i hope it was helpful any new steam players or anybody that's new to the channel if you have any questions you can put them in the comments and i'll be able to reply to them as soon as i see them um, if you have anything else to say you can also use the comments please do consider subscribing hopefully and i say hopefully again there will be a live stream tomorrow um, but it is not confirmed yet because uh, there might be something going on um, and I won't be able to do it but if I don't do it tomorrow I'll try and do it on Saturday um, completing the festival playlist uh, with anybody that needs it so I hope you enjoyed today's video uh, like I said if you have any questions you can put them in the comment section below um, and I'll see you all well hopefully tomorrow but not definitely tomorrow so I'll see you all later bye